Hello everyone, my name is Bronwyn and I'm from Burton Albion Community Trust and today we're thinking about how to look after ourselves. The idea is that to succeed we all need to look after ourselves both physically and mentally. So let's break this down. We're going to start with a task where you write down your daily routine from the morning, from when you get up in the morning, all the way till you get to school. Take a minute to pause this video and either write it down or talk to the people on your table about all these little steps in that morning routine. Well done guys, I'm sure you broke down lots and lots about your routine. Here's a little peek at mine and you might have some of these. So, I wake up after a really good night's sleep. I like to try and get at least eight hours because when you've had eight hours sleep, it means you're gonna have more energy in the morning. A good length of time to sleep for is about eight hours, maybe even more if we can. That means that we'll have lots of energy and our brain power will really be there for the next day at school. Next up, you go to the toilet. I know we don't want to talk about it, but we all have to, and that's actually part of looking after ourselves. Next up, I get dressed. Now, do I pick up those clothes that I wore from yesterday? Oh, especially those socks from yesterday. No, I put on clean clothes, because putting on clean clothes and making sure we are clean, maybe giving ourselves a little wash in the morning, we might have a quick shower, and washing our hair as well, this is all a good way to help look after ourselves. Next up, I might go and eat some breakfast. Now, it's really important to have a healthy and balanced diet, so I perhaps wouldn't eat all of these, but it's important to have breakfast because it gets our digestive system going, it helps give us that boost of energy that we all need in the morning. So, woken up, gone to the toilet, I've gotten dressed, I've eaten breakfast, what could be next? I'm gonna brush my teeth. So, of course, our hygiene for our teeth is also really important. It's helping us look after our teeth. It's making sure that we've got a nice fresh breath. And it means that when you get to my age, you won't have lots of fillings. All these little things that we do in the morning, drinking our water, eating our breakfast, brushing our teeth, making sure we're clean and we've got nice clean clothes on, all of this is taking care of ourselves. But what about emotionally? Looking after the outside by wearing clean clothes and making sure we eat throughout the day are ways that affect our emotions. Have you ever felt hungry when you've gotten to school because you've not really taken the time to eat a proper breakfast? How's that affected you emotionally? Have you got a bit more irritated perhaps trying to do your maths work or whatever else you're doing in the morning? Have you ever had to go to school when you've woken up late or you've had a really late night playing games? How do you, these types of things make you feel? How do they affect our emotions? Pause this video and putting your hands up, I want you to tell your class and your teacher a time when you might have not looked after your outside and how this has affected your emotions inside. So perhaps when you've woken up late, you felt a little angry because you've been up too late and playing games too late. <sighs> Or maybe you felt really, really tired and you just want to go to sleep. <sighs> we might feel really stressed or irritated too. And this is all because we've not had the time or made the time to look after those emotions. So making sure that we've had a good night's sleep and making sure that we get up at a good time without having to rush around. Making sure that we've eaten some food and drink some water is all some really important things that can help avoid these things. It's okay to have a difficult day, we'll all have them here and there, where we might be feeling lots of different things. It's okay to feel these strong emotions, even if that's super happy feelings like being excited or sad feelings like maybe being angry or irritated. I want you to pause this video and think about how you're feeling today. Even if that's two or three different things, use pencil crayons and colours and your creativity to draw and write what you think these emotions look like and write what emotion that is underneath. Oh, 
I bet there are some awesome creations. I really wish I could see them. Whatever you might be feeling today, it's normal. It's normal to feel. But what about those more difficult feelings when we feel angry or upset or irritated or annoyed? I'm going to show you how we can help with these feelings in a safe way. Firstly, we're going to think about what we enjoy doing. For some it's playing football and others it's playing games or listening to music. Sometimes doing these activity can help calm these tough feelings in a safe way. But sometimes it might not be possible to do this. For example, in a classroom where we might start to feel angry or sad or perhaps another emotion that you need help with. A good way to do this is through our breathing. Taking deep breaths in and out. Let's practice this together now. So we're going to breathe in. Hold for three. One, two, three. And out. And again. One, two, three. And out. And one last time. In. And out. Well done guys. Another fun way to practice these breaths is by bumblebee breaths. This is where we put our hands over our eyes, we take a deep breath in through our nose for five, one, two, three, four, five and when we breathe out we're going to make a small humming sound. We're going to keep our mouths closed like this and go mm. So you breathe in through your nose for five, two, three, four, five, and to breathe out. And in. And out. Because it sounds like a bumblebee. Well done guys, you might feel a little bit silly doing that the first few times. I know I did, and especially when I'm here on my own. So those are just a few ways that might help us deal with those emotions that we're finding a bit difficult. Because remember, everyone is different, so we'll all have our different ways to help us safely manage our emotions. So now I want you to create a way that might help you when you're feeling it's really difficult. You might be feeling quite angry or sad or irritated or annoyed. What is it that you can do to help yourself? Have you got your own breathing activity that you use? Or have you got a totally different way that you're able to use? I want you to write it down now, or even draw it if you can, so pause here and give that a go. Well done guys. One last thing, I want you to remember it's always good to talk with a trusted adult when we need help and you've probably heard that lots but the same goes for when we need help with our feelings because talking about and letting people know that we're feeling a certain way and might need a bit of help is a really good thing to do and it will help you in the long run. So hopefully after listening to that guys you were able to think a little bit more about how to look after yourselves. Bye guys!